guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Seasons, and this is going to be part number six. So again, we are still in fall, and it is the second day into fall, four days until winter. Um, it's about 49 degrees outside, which is which is quite warm. Um, the trees look like they're even getting more like vivid, and even the leaves are actually starting to fall off now, which is quite cool. I don't think we have any trees in our um, what you might call it, in our actual, like, lot to worry about, so we don't have to, like, rake or anything like that, um, and I don't think you can rake, like, randomly throughout the world, but that kind of sucks, I mean, I don't know, maybe I should just get a tree and place it there just so we can, like, play in the leaves, but, yeah, so a few things are changing, um, with the season of fall, I do not know, okay, so actually the fall festival, or the town center fall festival is available now, it wasn't yesterday, and it's Thursday. Kirsten is again off from work, I think. Uh, yeah, she's off from work for yesterday and today. And then she has to go back tomorrow, which kind of sucks. Um, Jake is actually going to work today. And then he is off tomorrow and Sunday as well. Um, so for the last like few days. And Leisure Day is Sunday. Anyway, so we will have them all go to the fall festival as like kind of a family. Um just to kind of celebrate it together and so whatnot. So Kirsten actually has a couple opportunities when she was sleeping throughout the night for like an hour. The phone rang and one of the new opportunities was the dish showdown, which means um, we have to bring one serving of any recipe. It's due by Sunday, 7 p.m. And basically we, the head chef at the restaurant is holding a competition to see which locals can prepare the best dish. Prepare something special and bring it in to the restaurant quickly to enter it for a cash prize. Um, for first, first place anyway and then the other one of course like I said in the last part is eating with others we don't really know who we can bring she really wants to bring Jake like we met Oliver yesterday and he's married oh god ew he is married and he was flirting with us and he wanted to get to know us okay so we won't be with with Oliver right who is this girl let's see who's Holly um, okay, so that is his wife, Holly, Holly Greenwood. Okay, so yeah, scratch that. Definitely not going with Oliver. Maybe we'll ask Jake if he'll be like our, our date. Um, eh, I don't know if we should go there. Anyway, that's her dilemma. And, and as for Casey, she actually needs to get up right now and get ready for school, which really sucks because last night um, we were up pretty much the whole night just dealing with Connor because the babysitters did a really crappy job watching him. And that's exactly why I hate the sim babysitters is because they don't do what they're supposed to like sometimes you get really 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 good ones and then sometimes you just get the crappy ones that do nothing and that was definitely my case so connor is completely exhausted he's about to crap his pants again he ages actually tomorrow uh, and the only thing we've taught him so far is how to walk we need to at least have one more thing learned like either potty or how to talk so then that way we can pick a trait for him so we don't get like a really crappy one or whatever. Jake starts working eight hours, so he's just gonna kind of sleep for a little bit longer, probably until 10. And then, unfortunately for him, he's probably just gonna go straight to work. He was out late last night, just, you know, hanging out with Taryn. So Kirsten's thing for today is to pretty much probably take care of Connor, uh, learn some more of the cooking skills so we can get her a job promotion since she does make the most. Really wanted to get the tap cast, but financially we just can't afford it right now. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of fast forward through the game. And when they wake up, we will, um, you know, pick up where we left off. So it looks like Jake is the first one to get up. Um, we're going to have him make the bed and then wake up Connor and change his diaper because, <laughs> you guessed it, he pooped his pants again. Like, seriously, is this becoming a thing? He poops his pants, like, constantly. And, I mean, I know what else is a kid supposed to do, but I feel like it's way more frequent than most of my sim toddlers. And after he has ever so kindly played pretend daddy, uh, <laughs> we'll have him get ready for work, which the most important thing, I think, is to use the shower because they can use the bathroom at work and they can also eat at work. It's actually raining right now. The skies are clear and it is raining. Is it raining? No, it's not raining. It's hail, Jen. I was going to say, wait a minute. This doesn't look like rain. So that's cute. You can see like the little balls falling on the ground. I don't know. I think that's kind of cool. I, I really love the detail that they put into The Sims 3 Seasons. Like I think I think it's really, really cool. They put a lot of work into it and it shows. You can even see like the little leaves falling off the trees. Now they're not doing it, but they were just a second ago. I promise. Let's see what else does Connor need. He's pretty much okay. 
Um, we'll let him play with a race car or something like that. He should be pretty good uh, for a little bit. And his relationship with his mother is actually really high. And same with Jake. The sad part is, is I really don't know when time comes for them to all like kind of go their separate ways. How how is Connor gonna handle it? I, I mean, like seriously, is Jake gonna still be around to visit the kids, or you know, is Kirsten still gonna invite him over to see the kids, or is it just gonna be, you know, like what, what's gonna happen? There's just so many questions, so many unknowns. Uh, Casey Springston just had her first encounter with a vampire, isn't she? Yeah, she's at the little bistro taking a field trip. I don't know what they're doing there, but they're doing something. I think I kind of want to keep Kirsten sleeping just for a little bit longer because I want her energy to go up as much as possible. Um, but I guess we'll just wake her little her little lazy butt up. She wants to serve a home-cooked meal at a party. Because it's fall, obviously gonna have a Halloween party, probably on leisure day, uh, leisure day night. I think Sunday's gonna be, or is it Sunday? Yeah, I think Sunday's gonna be a pretty damn busy day. Um, before you feed yourself, girlfriend, why don't you feed your kid? I will feed him on the floor. For Connor, I don't know. I think we'll just wait until tomorrow to age him. Um, just because, like I said, I want to make sure that he can get a good trait and he's not going to, like, get something terrible or something like that. And it is thundering. Let's see. He should be leaving in three hours. So let's just have him have a quick meal. We'll have some cereal. I, mean, I swear, everyone's been basically eating a diet consisting nothing but mac and cheese and cereal. Uh, let's see what's the best thing that we can cook. Oh, wow. We don't have that many choices. No. Oh, outside's doing. So it looks like it's actually raining now. Um, the rain is now dripping off the roof, which is a nice touch. And everything just looks so damp and crappy outside. The trees are losing even more leaves. It does look beautiful, nevertheless. And I really don't know why there's an ice cream truck outside. Like, who the hell wants ice cream when it's freaking pouring outside? I don't know, but I'm not going to lie. I kind of do right now, to be completely honest. Before Jake goes to work, we'll have him, uh, let's see, pay the bills. I feel like we just paid the bills. There are 62 this time. And what did Jake do? He broke the sink. So before he goes to work, he needs to do that. And then we'll have him go over here and go to work. Casey is still at her field trip, but she's just about done. Instead of going to the fall festival, she's probably going to come home um, and actually just sleep. Kirsten has been in her onesie for like days now, I swear. <laughs> she can just pretty much eat this, and after she's finished with that, we'll have her repair the sink, kind of clean up the kitchen just a little bit. Put away leftovers. And what is Connor doing? He is playing with Oh my god, no! He's playing with Cosmo. Let's not play with Cosmo. Let's 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 play with this little tractor toy. Childhood cooks tend to grow into culinary masters as adults. Always start them early. It looks like Casey had a great time at the restaurant. Um, she got a souvenir from the bistro. And let's see, what did she get? Um, when does she age? She actually ages in two days as well, which is kind of strange. Um, she got the Bistro Bento art. Is it worth anything? No, I have to wait until she's home for her. I can actually sell it and see what else does she need. She needs to use the bathroom. We'll have her wash her hands and then we can go over to, let's see, is there anything that we can do? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I can actually transfer my job if I really wanted to. I could actually work at the little, um, boxcar diner if I didn't feel like working at the bistro but I think the bistro is more of an honorable job Never mind I was gonna work on the cooking skill but actually after she's done with her chores we're just gonna visit the town festival for a little while even though it is raining let's see what Casey needs to do she's gonna go to sleep um, so she won't be at the festival so we'll have to get another babysitter but we're gonna sleep in Kirsten's bed just in case Connor starts screaming or crapping his pants again all of those are very strong possibilities so we'll just forward through all of this little boring stuff and when she's finished and ready to go to the town festival we will pick up from there Here we are I just paused the game really quick so I don't lose any more time but this is the fall 
festival in Twinbrook. I think it's really awesome that in every different city that you play, you get to have different, it kind of looks different, I guess is what I'm trying to say. You have different types of festivals. I mean, they're the same kind, but they never look the same. Um, and I think that's kind of cool. So over here, you have the pumpkin patch with the little scarecrow, and there actually is quite a few pumpkins to pick from. Um, so we'll have Kirsten do that and bring some home for the family because everybody is just exhausted um, from last night. It was one hell of a night, to say the least. Uh, she can just go ahead and do that. And then over here, you have the um, fall greeting card booth, which is kind of cool. Uh, you have the face painting thingy-mabobber that my sims love to get stuck in. And then over here, let's see, what do you have? You have the concession stands. So for the fall, they kind of look like little... Um, pumpkin pie slices and you can buy food and you know different sort of things there's also a skeleton that's kind of creepy looking uh, you also have the little apple bobber things and I do believe there's a pie uh, competition eating pie eating competition and yeah that's right over here that's exactly where I think the um, hot dog one was in the summer festival so for her we need to start earning some tickets ASAP but I just want to go ahead and pick some pumpkins before everyone else does so we'll harvest we'll just harvest two pumpkin little patch thingy mo bobbers if that makes sense and if we don't get a chance to come back to the fall festival before Sunday at least we have the pumpkins looks like she wants to go bobbing for apples uh, she wants to take a green card picture and then I forgot to show you guys this one uh, this little venue thingy here um, it is the haunted house now your sims actually get quite scared by this keep in mind this is no petty childish haunted house like I've had many many sims basically wet themselves because of going through here so it's quite the scary place so after she is finished uh, harvesting her pumpkins let's see how she's doing over here um, she's really getting down and dirty and she has the soaked moodlet um, we'll have her kind of you know go through the haunted house if we have time because it's eight o'clock already uh, so we probably won't have time actually I take that back but let's see she wants to collect festival tickets and I'm not sure if we get any um, from harvesting we might and then take a greeting card photo but she wants to teach Connor to talk and learn these skills so instead we'll just keep that we're gonna run over to the haunted house because I don't kind of want to show you guys what it what it does now where did it go like seriously how do you lose a haunted house <laughs> I don't know all right so let's run over here real quick and enter the haunted house before nine o'clock um, hopefully she'll make it okay yeah she's she's running here she goes she's going inside Kirsten hears a screech pierce through the haunting silence. <laughs> Looks like she actually did quite well. She got the sucked into the fourth dimension moodlet. Boy, it never fails. You go in for a simple trip through the haunted house and you wind up hurled into another realm of ghost and flame. What a hassle. I think she earned... Five, ooh, five festival tickets for that. So she didn't earn anything from harvesting pumpkins, but um, looks like the festival is going to close here in about now. <laughs> so we'll just have her harvest a little bit more. And it looks like Jake just got off of work and he earned 68 simoleons. So that takes us up to a grand total of 516. Not very much, but let's go ahead and check up on him. It looks like he's driving on home. It completely and utterly exhausted. The poor guy. It's 9.30 already, so I'll probably go home. <laughs> Have a choice from either mac and cheese, cereal, or this time some actual salad. And he has a phone call, so hopefully we can answer that real quick. Oh, it looks like Taryn's calling us. Come on, dude. Answer the phone. It says Taryn Hobbs would like to chat with Jake Summers. Do you want to talk? Of course we do. Of course. Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. Definitely. Uh, how is... Oh, of course. Why do I even bother asking myself how is Connor doing? All right, so she's done harvesting. She has five pumpkins in total. Um, we'll go home. And hopefully this babysitter, K Pebble, will take care of Connor so we don't have to listen to him freaking screaming his little brains out. Casey is still sleeping. Uh, but we'll have her get up and do some homework. Uh, maybe actually get help from... Oh, no. Okay, never mind. We'll just do homework. He's off the phone, and he has the book. 
went to rave and riot that he needs to read but of course he is exhausted so he's just gonna grab some leftover organic autumn salad and then if he doesn't pass out on the floor he'll go to sleep and it looks like that was oh there's a really pretty horse come here oh it's a wild horse ah my gosh <laughs> i hate the thunder anyway um that's kind of cool that when it like thunders or the lightning strikes or whatever the whole screen actually shakes and if it hits your lot like you'll see a big bolt of like blue lightning it's kind of cool so i love the realism anyway she's here connor is exhausted We'll feed the little the little biscuit on the floor and then put him in in no. Oh, we'll let him eat first. We'll take a shower. And then we'll put him in the crib. She's doing her homework. <laughs> Looks like she's not really liking it. Um, let's see the relationships here. She has a really good relationship with DeAndre Wolf. I don't even know when she's met him, so that's kind of strange. Uh, she met this little girl from school, and her name's Emerald, Emerald Greenwood, which I think is Oliver's daughter. And then there's Zoe Wolf. There's quite a few. She actually knows quite a few people. Oh no. Poor Jake. Don't pass out. I feel so bad for him. Is he going to fall asleep in his food? No. Okay. Uh, hopefully he won't fall on the floor, but it looks like he will. Um, she's going to go take her shower. And it is really stormy outside, you guys. Like, wow. It's really crazy. How much is it? Okay. <laughs> and there he goes. Man down. Uh, it's 35 degrees outside right now, so it is quite chilly. I actually think we're going to probably change Kirsten's appearance to something a little more um, fall after she puts... <laughs> Connor in the crib. And Casey's like, oh my god, he just totally fell on the floor again. Alright, so let's get you a little kazunk kazunk to clean up everything. I don't understand why Sims put away like a half eaten plate of salad. Like, that's so gross. Um, so he made it to his bed safely. I'm not really dreaming. He's dreaming about cooking. His relationship with Tara is, is still on the rocks. It's probably better than hers. Um, I really want Kirsten and Jake to kind of rekindle their friendship. I feel like there's been just so much going on that they haven't been able to do that. Um, because, you know, they really are good friends. I mean, they've been through quite a bit, you know? So I want them to, you know, get to know each other. And I think that's why it would be a really good idea for her. Um, I don't know. Since, you know, maybe tomorrow. Like, he's off tomorrow, isn't he? Um, so for her, maybe, like, when he gets off of work or she gets off of work to invite him out to lunch or something or dinner or whatever they have time for. So, so. They can, you know, become friends again and, you know, whatever. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and create her a brand new fall outfit. And when I'm finished, I will show you guys what I came up with. Since Kirsten is pretty fashionable, sort of like Taryn, and something I kind of just thought of, I put two and two together, I think Jake kind of has a thing for blondes because I don't know if you noticed, but they're both blonde. And naturally so. I ain't talking about no, you know, fake hair dyeing or nothing. Like, they are naturally blonde. Uh, I wanted her to look fashionable, cute, but warm. And so I put on this, like, little pea coat kind of thing that looks almost like a dress. And then just in case, you know, the wind blows a little too hard and, you know, we show a little more than we want to, we get some, like, legging-type things that are gray and match, like, the little hand warmers. I even put on um, some, like, fake nails that I think I downloaded from, like, the exchange or something like that just to kind of add a little pop of color and definition to the fingers because I feel like that should be in the game I mean every girl loves to get her fingers painted at least I hope so not even her fingers but her nails you know what I'm trying to say and so yeah it's pretty much the top there and then for the bottom I went with these kind of like you know hookah boots I'm not gonna lie I kind of just paired them with this outfit because I didn't really want her to expose too much skin since it is gonna be quite chilly so that is what she is wearing and that is what I came up with for her fall outfit I also kind of want to uh, change her hair look I get really 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 bored really quickly when it comes to like hairstyles and stuff were the sims um i'm not very talented in real life when it comes to my hair we pretty much got like three standard styles that we stick with change her appearance after she takes her sweet time changing into her new outfit uh let's see what casey is up to she is such a good girl washing the dishes uh, upset that she ate leftovers that taste like cheap fridge um and then i guess for her does she need to do her homework uh it's saturday tomorrow right 
or no, it's Friday. So no, she definitely needs to do her homework. It's not going to take too long, so I guess I can just go through this with you. Uh, for her hair, I kind of want something that's going to be out of the way. Uh, I actually did pair uh, a pair of pearl earrings with her outfit. I don't think I told you guys that or not. So I kind of want them to, you know, be exposed. And besides, I'm, I really like this hairstyle, but I'm kind of like over it already. So let's see what we can find. There's some like customized hairstyles here. I kind of like that. I think it looks pretty good with the overall outfit, but it doesn't really look good with her actual hair color. So let's see what else we can pick. Um, I have pigtails that kind of make her look like a child, so probably won't go there. And none of these yet are really like updos, so hmm. We got like this braided style, which actually I think is really pretty, and it kind of matches the outfit. So you know what? I think we'll stick with this braided hairstyle, and we're going to make her hair just a little more blonder. I think that looks pretty much gray now, so we'll just throw in a little highlights and we'll make that wider. So it kind of looks gray, doesn't it? Let's see if we can just kind of tint this a little yellow. Okay. Yeah, I think that looks alright. So that will be her hairstyle. We can leave her eyebrows. We'll move on to makeup because I love makeup um, a lot <laughs> and I, I, I love customizing their makeup too. I think that's kind of like a fun little thing. Uh, I'm going to use this customized template here or not customized but custom eyeshadow thing and we'll make it I don't know we'll do kind of like a neutral look here if I can I'll bring that down so just something kind of light on the eyes and eyeliner I don't think she's really wearing anything right now right now <laughs> stick with the top liner because that's actually my personal favorite and her face looks good. Uh, we'll just go with some wine colored lips. Something like a, a pretty kind of like purpley color. That is way too light. That's way too light too. I don't know what I just did. Um, kind of more on like the like berry side of things. All right. So I think that's pretty much what her makeup is going to look like. I think Kirsten Ooh, needs to grab a quick bite to eat. She'll eat leftover <gasps> autumn salad. And then after that, we'll check on Connor how is he he's sleeping oh thank you and we will sleep and what the hell is that <gasps> you guys we have a visitor Ooh, that's Casey no you need to go interact with him we're gonna go ahead and interact with this alien dude here what in the world is going on what's his name Crypto Z Cokemeg. And it looks like our little extraterrestrial friend here is sharing some pretty funny stories with Casey. He's a very friendly alien. Uh, friendly introduction. I hope we don't end up getting... Oh my gosh, this alien dude has a thing for us. Hold on, let me pause this because I'm sure the rain's really loud. It says, I appreciate Sims who take it upon themselves to learn a new craft. Let's get to know each other better. And who the hell are you? You just drop out of the sky, come on my porch, and think that I'm just going to fall head over heels for you? It's your green skin, isn't it? Yeah. Kirsten, don't lie. Don't lie. Don't deny it. You got a thing for him. It's okay. Uh, romantic will ask his sign. All right, Casey, where did you go? Um, we'll have her... Oh. Go ahead and sleep. Kirsten Springston learned that Crypto Z Kokomek is a cancer. Those signs are compatible. Hmm. Quinn? Wow. So we are compatible with this alien alien friend here. We'll ask if he's single. I wonder where his little UFO thing is. Is it still out here? No. Okay. Because I was wondering if like we could get abducted by him. I think that's just guys, isn't it? I don't know. So he is also single, so we don't actually have a guy hitting on us that, uh, you know, <laughs> is married or have kids, which is fine by me. Oh, looks like Sir Crypto is taking off, so we'll just bring Kirsten back inside. That was definitely something I didn't expect to be visited by aliens. It's kind of cool that we did kind of have some sort of relationship built with him. So, I mean, I don't know about being with an alien, but I think it would be kind of cool to have an alien baby, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a weirdo because, you know, that, that happens a lot, too. So you never know. Anyway, uh, it is 4 o'clock, and I feel like you guys were just staying up later and later. Everyone is sleeping. 
I feel like today was a pretty modest success. Um, so yeah, I think we're just gonna go ahead and wrap up part six here. Again, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing and commenting and doing all those amazing little things that, that makes my day a hell of a lot better. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in my very next Let's Play.